guess where we're going today? Any guesses? Any guesses? Hey guys, I am en route. It's Saturday morning with my husband to our favorite vineyard, Linden Vineyards in Virginia. We are going to have, an, we're gonna get a bottle of wine. Of course, I'm not gonna drink that much because I'm on keto. So this is a very different vineyard and winery than other vineyards here in Virginia. Like they don't accept wedding parties and party buses coming in. It's very traditional style vineyard and way of making wine. In my opinion, it's some of the best wine here in Virginia. And uh, anyway, so we're really looking forward So what to sets it. this vineyard apart from other Virginia wineries um, and vineyards is that he does not outsource his grapes. He grows all of his grapes on site at his property. Does he grow them anywhere else? Yeah, two I, at two other sites that are very close by, but a lot of people out here buy their grapes from all over the states and then they make their wine. So they're not really grown on the property, their property, and he does. So Jim Law is the wine grower of this vineyard and he is like the grandfather of all grandfathers in the wine making industry out here in Virginia. Everybody who makes wine out here refers to Jim Law because he his techniques are amazing. So he uses old world techniques in the wine growing process as well as the wine making process. One of our favorite wines that he makes is a Bordeaux blend. And so I think that's what we're gonna get when we get there. But um, you can age this wine for a very long time. And when you open it and let it air out, it's really, really good. So one thing that we always look forward to when we go here is they, once you get your wine, you can do the wine tasting and we're wine club member members. So we can, we can taste the wines for free. Any new wines they've uh, made, we get to taste for free at the tasting table. And then usually we'll get a bottle of wine because it's cheaper to do it that way than get glasses of wine. And then we'll take it to a cozy little table. Usually we try to get this one corner table by the fireplace. They've got a wood, wood burning stove there, not fireplace, but the stove. And it's, you can hear the little crack, hiss and pop of the fire and it's super cozy and warm. And then we go and we get a bottle of water and two glasses and then we go and uh, order a, sh a chucuterie board. And they get their meats and cheeses from local farms in the area. So they support the local farming community out here. And the chucuterie Shukater board is amazing. So good, it's mwah. And then they bring you these two uh, baguettes in a bucket. So you can cut your bread and then put your cheese and your meats on it. Of course, Kilo Keto cannot have that. So, oh well, the meat and cheese is really good. I'll enjoy that and sip my red wine. So, can't wait. Get to this vineyard, we get to go down all these little windy roads. And uh, it's very pretty with trees lining the streets. And over here, it's very, <clears throat> still kind of icy and cold and brisk over here. So it's, it's an adventure just to get there, let me tell you. There's where we're going. ride to get here but so worth it so worth it
Okay guys, I I did not get red wine. I was bad. And had some white. The white is so good. It's so good. Cheers. I did not have bread. I just had cheese and some to olive tapenade. And it was delish. Didn't miss the bread. Enjoyed the white wine though. Gotta stay hydrated. One thing I have to say is so awesome is a, a big crowd of people came in and they're like, is there anywhere to sit? And they said, are you friends of Linden? And they're like, what does that mean? They're like, are you case club members? And they're like, no. And they're like, um, no, you have to be case club members. And I was like, yes, yes. I'm like, we get the place to ourselves. So we went back and got to sit on the nice patio area where the wood burning fireplace was and enjoy our wine and our meat in peace and quiet. And I was like, ha, they can't sit back here. We had the place to ourselves, score. We just left the vineyard, boy was that good, and now we are on our way to a record store in a downtown area. Should be fun. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll get some good stuff. La, 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 la. Can't talk. That's what wine does to me. La, 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 we la, stopped la, la, off at a little place called the Apple House. They are known for their donuts and fritters and really cute country signs and decor. You can sit in their little diner area and have a nice meal. And then they've got a wine air, wine shop and do they have a bar? I think they have a little like wine and bar area. Um, it's really cute. Anyway, we're gonna stop in there and then we're gonna head to the record store. We just went and scored big time on how many records would you say we got? A couple hundred. And uh, we scored. And I couldn't believe it. They're like, a dollar each. We're like, what? Okay. Yay. So apparently at this place, they said some guy picked up a record collection of 20 thousand records and it took him two big trucks to get them to the store and we we were members we went there like last year and scored on a bunch of records so they were giving us like 10 and 15 percent off on all the records so i mean i can't believe it we scored we got some good stuff you guys some good stuff so we're now in the shenandoah valley area and i love it over here i love it love seeing the countryside and the mountains and the trees it's just so pretty and majestic looking and uh, now we're on our way home so it's been a nice day and um, 
It's always nice to get out with your honey. It okay, is. guys, just got home. I just want to show you one thing I got at a little antique store next to the record shop. Welcome to our beach house. I'm thinking ahead to summer. Oh, yes, I am. All right, guys, that'll do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. See, bye. Bye.